Hey guys and gals, Mike Crinkett 113, <laughs> getting close. Hey, if you're ever, if you're wondering why the bands are crap today, it's because we had another solar flare and it's pretty much radio blackout uh, for the most part. Uh, Europe's doing all right. They're doing a little bit better because it's later in the day for them. But over here on the, uh, on the East Coast and the continent, the United States, uh, 40 meters completely washed out, radio blackout for the most part, so it was 2018. I imagine your digital modes and maybe your CW modes are getting out, but uh, uh, sideband, you know, 11 meter operators, it's going to be quiet out there, definitely. Uh, because what's happening right now, it's called this D-level absorption. Now, you know the ionosphere has different le levels of the ionosphere. There's the D-level, that's the lowest level. And the D uh, level usually will bounce uh, VHF and UHF, or no, 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 forget I said that. Sometimes it will bounce uh, HF, but usually it's the E layer or the F1 or 2 layer uh, that will bounce the HF. So the D level <laughs> is the first level, and that's absorbing HF and not allowing it to penetrate to the E level or the F1 or F2 level. At nighttime, the F1 and the F2 are the top tier. They, uh, they merge together uh, to become one. But anyway, so we're getting some D-level absorption, and the HF bends are crap. I just looked at the NOAA broadcast, or the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center, and I saw all the, the flare come by. It really wasn't a big one. They were predicting a G2, um, but... Uh, obviously, we're, the sun is angry, you know, and it's setting off flares and radio propagation for the last week or so have been terrible. Uh, for the most part, having a hard time checking in on nets. And uh, today I pulled up the uh, Pocono uh, SDR receiver to check because I'm at work. And uh, 40 meter was completely nothing, nothing, nobody. And uh, which never is the case. There's always people chatting. There's always e-cars, things like that. So just in case you're wondering why it was a bad skip day, as some people say, that's why. That's why. Solar flares, man. They'll take out radio uh, communications. Uh, airplane pilots that fly over the, uh, the ocean, specific the Atlantic or wherever else, uh, they use HF radios when they're, when they're far away from land. So... Even their uh, communications are going to be an issue, so they're going to have to figure something else out. Uh, GPS users, that's going to be another issue. And, uh, yeah, so just be careful out there. Uh, use the radio. I think ground wave is going to be the way today, or using your 2-meter or 70-70-meter or 220 uh, repeaters is the way to communicate today. So this, have a good one. Hopefully things improve. This is Mike Cricket 113. There's your report. Take care.